hello guys in my last video I showed you how you can use the non-conventional conversion method to convert from one unit to another in today's video we are going to see how we can use what I called the uh, a conversion factor method to convert from one unit to another unit okay please you can also check out my previous videos to see other methods you can use to perform your conversion all right in using the um, conversion factor method all you need to do is to generate the conversion factor okay and to generate the conversion factor take for instance you you want to convert from you want to convert from megagram to gram for instance so one megagram will be the same thing as the value of the prefix that is 10 to the power of 6 of the base unit okay if you want to convert from kilo for instance to uh, kilo kilo meter to meter for instance you have to generate the conversion factor by saying one kilometer is the same thing as the value of the prefix that is um, 10 to the power of 3 times the base of the base okay now if you want to convert from let's say centimeter to a meter for instance all you need to do is want to generate the conversion factor and you can generate it from this one centimeter equals to the value of the prefix that is 10 to the power of minus 2 of the base unit okay so this becomes the conversion factor okay so we can uh, use employ this method to convert any quantity uh, we want to convert from one unit to another now question one convert 10 convert 10 10 gram to kilogram so we need to generate the conversion factor okay one kilogram is the same thing as the value of the prefix of this prefix times the base unit all right so this becomes our conversion factor and we can use that to convert so that means that uh, 10 to the power of 3 gram is the same thing as 1 kilogram. So 10 gram will be the same thing as 10 times 1 over 10 to the power of 3, which is the same thing as 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3, or 10 to the power of negative 2 kilograms okay you can also write it this way 10 to the power of 0 0.01 kilogram question number two convert 220 gram to milligram i need to generate the conversion factor so i have uh, one milligram is the same thing as the value of the base that is 10 to the power of minus 3 of gram this becomes my conversion factor okay one milligram is something as the value of the base 10 to the power of minus 3 gram so it will imply that um, 10 to the power of minus 3 gram is equals to one milligram 220 gram will be the same thing as 220 times 1 divided by 10 to the power of negative 3 which is the same thing as 220 times 10 to the power of 3 so you have 220 000, uh, milligram all right now let's convert 0 0.03 kilogram to to gram okay so let's generate the conversion factor one kilogram is the same thing as 10 to the power of three gram 
and two, one kilogram will be 10 to the power of three gram. So 0 0.03 kilogram is the same thing as 0 0.03 times 10 to the power of three, which is the same thing as three times 10 to the power of negative two times 10 to the power of three, which is the same thing as three times 10 to the power of one or 30 gram, okay? All right, let's uh, quickly convert the next one, the next uh, quantity that we have, 40, 25 centimeter square to millimeter square. Now, it's important here that you convert from centimeters uh, square to meter square and from meter square to millimeter square. Okay, we're going to take that step. Convert from centimeter square to meter square and from meter square to millimeter square. Now, recall that one centimeter is the same thing as 10 to the power of negative 2 meter, isn't it? The conversion factor. So, one centimeter square will be the same thing as 10 to the power of negative 4 meters square. Okay, that, that is, I'm squaring this, I'm squaring this uh, quantity here. Now, I will use dirt to convert 25 centimeters square to meter square. So, one centimeter square is the same thing as 10 to the power of negative 4 meters square. 25 centimeters square will be the same thing as 25 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters square, okay? Which is the same thing as 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so that's uh, meter square. So this is the conversion from centimeter to meter. Now I want to convert from meter to millimeter square. I will need to generate uh, another conversion factor. Okay, I want to convert from meter square to millimeter square. Now, one meter millimeter is the same thing as the value of the base, the back value of the prefix, which is uh, 10 to the power of negative 3 meter times the base. Okay, I'm trying to get the conversion factor. Now, that implies that one millimeter square will be the same thing as 10 to the power of negative 6 meters square okay when i square this right so this is the conversion factor that i'm going to use to convert uh, the quant this quantity okay all right so i have one millimeter square or uh, rather 10 to the power of let's use 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of minus 6 meters square is the same thing as 1 millimeter square. So 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 will be the same thing as 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 10 to the power of negative 6 using proportion. Okay, so I have 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 10 to the power of 6 okay which is the same thing as 2.5 times 10 to the power of 3 and I have 2500 0, 0 millimeter square now notice the steps I took first of all I converted from centimeter square to meter square and from meter square to millimeter square you can, of course, apply the same method to convert this one and this, okay? The same thing. These ones will be more direct compared to this, all right? So let's take question number seven. Question number seven, I have 60 meter per second. I should convert it to kilometer per hour, okay? So I need to get generate my conversion 
factor, okay? Let's try to generate the conversion factor. Now 60, um, the conversion factor for kilometer to meter, and then from uh, hour to second. Okay, one kilometer is the same thing as 10 to the power of three meter. Okay, that's a conversion factor. Now, um, recall that one hour is the same thing as 3,600 seconds, right? Okay, how about one kilometer per second will be the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 meter divided by okay sorry this should be hour one kilometer per hour is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 over 3 6 0 0 okay that implies that one kilometer per hour is the same thing as zero point if you divide it two seven seven and so on okay all right or two seven seven eight depending okay so this, this becomes my conversion factor okay use that to convert um two seven seven meter per second it should be seconds all right so it implies that zero point two seven eight meter per second is the same is equal to is equal to one kilometer per hour so 60 meter per second will be the same thing as 60 divided by 0 0.278 and that will, that will give me roughly approximately 216 kilometer per hour okay now notice how i got the conversion factor okay so question number eight i have 25 kilogram per meter cube to gram per centimeter cube okay let's get the conversion factor one kilogram is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 gram isn't it and one centimeter is sent in as 10 to the power of minus 2 meter right so one centimeter cube will be the same thing as 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 meter cube okay so I'm getting the cube of this all right that implies that one kilogram per meter cube will be 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 1 over 10 to the power of negative 6 okay okay seems uh, a little bit uh, complex right what this means is this okay let's uh, let's just clean this and uh, I'll explain it um, I'll explain it uh, more better you know um, remember what I said about this how I got this since I have this in this uh, section in the left hand side it's better for me to get the value of one meter cube okay so one meter since one centimeter cube is this that means one meter cube will be the reciprocal do you understand centimeter cube one meter cube is 10 to the power of minus six so one 
uh, one centimeter cube is this 10 to the power of minus six meter cube that means one meter cube with it will be the reciprocal okay so I, I want to convert kilogram per meter cube to gram per centimeter cube all right that means i need to replace this one with the now this means uh one kilogram is the same thing as this and one meter cube is the same thing as this so one kilogram per meter cube one kilogram per meter cube will be the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 gram over 1 over 10 to the power of minus 6 centimeter cube okay which is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay or 10 to the power of negative 3 gram per centimeter cube okay that that becomes our conversion factor so i'm going to use uh, one kilogram per meter cube as 10 to the power of negative three gram per centimeter cube so 25 kilogram per meter cube will be the same thing as 25 times 10 to the power of negative three so that gives me that gives me 0 0.25 gram per centimeter cube okay uh, guys uh, I would like you to to comment on the comment section whatever you feel uh, it's not clear to you so that I can uh, re-explain via comment and try to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Okay, thank you. But uh, what you can correct this slight correction 0 0.025. Thank you.